Bye, Kendra. See ya. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Alright, I like Kandros. A lot. Let's take a look at our journal here. So we've got... Scan the planets across Helios. Travel the cluster and take planetary scans to improve Dr. Adriana's celestial, mo celestial model. Comparatively alien. Scan Andromeda wildlife. Hitting rocks for science. Scan minerals. Find the missing science vessel. She fears the worst and asks you to find out what happened to them. All right, so that's a big science si side quest. Science quest. Side quest. Colonial affairs. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat Seven. It wasn't yep. even close to livable. That's been true of every world we found. Ryder. Hey. We were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the scourge dealt us a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial hmm. energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into. The Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here. Eos. Oh, Eos. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Makes sense. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So, how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Thanks. Right. I think I should go check on things. Right. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... I'm just gonna say professional, just point the way. Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that. Ah! Ooh, ah. What's going on, Something Skyler? wrong? Ryder, KC me and Sam Nude on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Then I wonder where Cora went. Let's talk about the missing arcs. All three of them. Apparently. You have my condolences for your father. I appreciate you. I didn't know him very well. Although I understand he played a key role in planning the initiative. I'm sure he'd be concerned that we still have several arcs missing. They're as much a part of the initiative as the human arc. We'll find them. We have to. Tens of thousands of colonists are unaccounted for. It paints the initiative in an unflattering light. Did you, know you have some other business? Let's talk about those missing arcs. Any more information you can give me on the missing arcs? No, and that is the distressing part. The Asari, Turian, and Salarian arcs are completely unaccounted for. If they had the same problems with the Scourge that we did, I fear the worst. Should you find any clues, please investigate. Without the other arcs, the promise of the initiative can never be fulfilled. Additional arcs? Are there any other arcs we should expect? Like we the Quarians. The Quarians would be part of the first wave. But before departure in 2185, we got word they had technical problems with their ship. It seems they're also bringing along Drell, <gasps> Hanar, and other species as well. Managing all of their biological needs caused complications. We won't see them for some time to come. Oh my gosh! There might be arcs not only of Quarians, but Drell and Hanar, and what was the other ones he said? I, I don't remember. But oh my gosh! That might be, even if we don't see that arc in this game, they might appear in the next game, and that makes me so excited. Oh, because I think I read somewhere that originally 
there, there was an explanation as to why the Quarians didn't go on the initiative. And the explanation at the time was because of their immune systems, that they felt that they wouldn't be able to survive that long of a trip. But I'm like, I don't think that makes as much sense as we said in our um, Mass Effect. Somebody brought this up during, I think it was Malik, um, Dark Elf Emsby, maybe, mentioned it in my last uh, open mic hangout about Mass Effect Andromeda. He mentioned something about how that doesn't really make much sense um, because I forgot the reason completely. I think it might have something to do with the fact that um, the Quarians have been living on a ship. Like, the Quarians have been living on ships their entire, well, for ex for generations and generations. So out of all people to survive on a ship, it really should be the Quarians who are going to survive on the ship for that long because they're actually used to surviving on ships. I don't know. But um, it's exciting that, that, that there is hope that we will that we have not seen the last of not only the Quarians, but also the Hanar and the Elcor and the Drell. That's it. The Hanar, Erkel, and Dwarton Drell. Oh, because I love those races. I love those races. I'd argue that I enjoy the Drell, Hanar, and the Elcor more than the Asari and the Turians. Um, I don't know. I personally find the Asari and the Turians, in my opinion, I find them to be, like, overrated. That's it. I, find, I personally find them overrated, but that's just me. Um, planet viability, Tan's role in the dominant initiative, Nexus Troubles. It sounds like the Nexus has had a rough time of it. Publicly, I would say we're more than up for the challenge. Privately, I can tell you, it's been a disaster. The Scourge <laughs> killed hundreds, many of them our senior leadership. Even the founder of the initiative, Jean Garson, is dead. Can you tell me more about her death? How did Jean Garson die? With the rest of the leadership, when the Nexus hit the Scourge, a large ring of stasis pods was destroyed. They were killed instantly. These people traveled 600 years and died before they even woke up. Mm. Jean Garson never glimpsed Helios. She never saw her vision realized. For some reason, I question whether or not Garson is actually dead. I don't know. Something in my gut is doubting right now that she's actually dead, but we'll see. The Scourge disaster. Kendris mentioned something about hitting the Scourge. How did it play out? Criminal elements took advantage of the emergency and preyed on people's fears. An uprising followed. We had no choice but to turn to the Krogan to deal with them. Oh. They crushed the mutiny and the criminals were banished. Exiles, we called them. I doubt we've heard the last of them. They're led by an outlaw, Sloane Kelly. Yes. She used to be one of ours. Tell me about Sloan Kelly. Who is this Sloan Kelly? She was head of security on the Nexus. She opposed the uprising at first, but eventually turned traitor and joined them. Mm. Misguided sympathy for the plight of the common citizen? Nonsense. They posed a direct threat to our existence. I'm wondering, though, if there is some, tr some truth to that, to her findings, though. There don't seem to be many Krogan around. Good riddance. The Krogan Ugh. demanded a greater say in political matters. The last place you want them involved, their muscle, nothing more. Okay, Good Tan. for fighting and lifting heavy objects. When they didn't get what they wanted, they left. Can I, can I actually say something to Tan about that? Can I, like, can I reprimand him for that? Or at least show my disgust at what he just said? Maybe this'll do it? Why don't, don't you know. like the Krogan? It's common knowledge that they are a violent, ignorant species. Let's Long talk about ago, ignorance. They waged nuclear war on one another. Their planet was decimated. My people tried to uplift them, but the Krogan could never tame their worst instincts. What if they bring their tempers to Andromeda? We'll all be dead. Your people tried to uplift them before they were ready. That's your fault. That's your people's fault. So. Don't be waving around, you know, my the my innocence pom poms. Like your people, like are just as much at fault about what happened with the Krogan. So don't get started with me on that, Tan. I wish I could say something a little bit more angrily to him about that, but. What do I need to consider in making a planet viable? Assuming the planet supports life, an outpost is critical. 
people like a roof over their heads. And you'll want to eliminate any hostile threats. Whether that's the cat or other terrors lurking in Helios, colonists being murdered on site can be discouraging. Also, scouting and mapping terrain is a priority for any Pathfinder. And don't forget forward stations. You'll want those. Forward stations? What can you tell me about forward stations? I was afraid you'd ask. It's mostly what the engineers tell me. Hey, I'm a an engineer. A forward station allows mining, equipment repairs, and resupply for field teams. I mean, who wouldn't want that? But seeing as how every colonization effort has failed, it's just theory at the moment. You get to test it out, Ryder. Oh boy! What more can you tell me about the initiative? It represents the greatest migration ever attempted. No one had ventured beyond the Milky Way before. We've all left home in search of freedom, fortune, perhaps a new beginning. We are the bravest souls each species has to offer. I hope the Nexus will serve as the seat of government for us all. What do you know about the early days of the Initiative? As most everyone knows, Gian Garson's vision made it happen. She was an entrepreneur on Earth. Wealthy. Young for a human. Garson had the idea for the Initiative in the early 2170s, I believe. Many thought leaving the Milky Way was impossible. But she persevered. And as with most great ideas, the doubters were wrong. Why do you think most people came? There are thousands of reasons. One for every colonist here. What does any pilgrim seek? Usually, happiness. Finding the thing that eludes them. The thing to fulfill them. While we cannot promise they will find it, we can facilitate the search. That is true. Every colonist here has a story and a... Every colony ha colonist has their own reason for joining the initiative. It looks like a melting pot around here. The Nexus is home to several initiative species. Many came ahead of the Arcs. The hope is that this station will one day serve as the governing body in Andromeda. Though I'm not sure what they were thinking, lumping Krogan into the mix. Oh, Tan. And the Solarian, my kind, tend to have a low opinion of them. Nothing I've seen here has changed that. Yeah, well, I'm starting to have a little bit of a low opinion of this specific Solarian. I kind of like, though, that Tan is far from perfect. I like that because, you know, it's they represent a point of view that does, unfortunately, still exist, you know, in this galaxy. You know, so that's important. It's important that he's there to provide that point of view because... We can't just pretend that, you know, even in this day and age, we can't pretend that prejudices and ignorance still doesn't run rampant. Uh, it's unfortunate, but it's, you know, it's, it's, it's totally realistic. Other questions? Tan's role. As director of the initiative, are you in charge around here or what? If the others would allow me, they don't see me as the rightful successor. What's their problem with you? I am not Gian Garson. Our founder was charismatic, eccentric, larger than life. Traits I cannot hope to mimic. She and her inner circle perished in the scourge, some at the hands of the exiles, some never made it out of stasis. I was deputy assistant for revenue management. Then all seven leaders above me died. I was next in line for the role. Um, so, you're an accountant? <laughs> Don't let that fool you. We are all capable of more than we know. When I was young, I was fascinated by the idea of exploring space. Life had its detours and I went a different direction. Then I heard about the initiative and saw my chance to try the path not taken. While I may not be setting foot on new worlds, my authority can ensure that you do. Right. Sorry. So how does anything get done? In <laughs> theory, Kesh handles the Nexus's physical operations, Kandros runs the militia, and Addison manages colonial affairs. I oversee all of it. In practice, we argue, debate, and yell at each other until a decision is made. Like the council. If we're lucky. It is maddening. I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm starting to find out who I might want to hang up on. <laughs> While I'm on my missions. No, I I don't think that I don't think that Skylar completely despises Tan. I think Tan he was forced into a position 
and he might be a bit way over his head. Now, the fact that he still has some prejudicial, you know, feelings towards Krogan, he's not the only one. That doesn't excuse it at all, and I don't condone it whatsoever. But I don't think that, you know, I don't think that Ryder necessarily feels that it is the best thing to just completely write, write Tan off. I don't think Tan is a bad guy. I just think he's a little old-fashioned. <laughs> um, okay. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm happy to help. You will find our futures depend on each other's success. Good luck. This is very interesting stuff. Something I can help you with? Nope. That's all. Thanks for your time. I'm here to serve. Thank you, Tan. So, okay, that's cool. It's really cool to be able to check out what's going on with everybody here. Where did Hora go? Wait, what's going on? All personnel leave. Hey, you okay? I'm fine. My arms got the brunt of it. What happened? Stuff exploding like this happen often? Back right after the mutiny, we had a lot of this happening. But not lately. I wasn't there during the mutiny. Lucky. I thought we were done with this, honestly. That maybe I was just being paranoid. What is there to be paranoid about? We've had three malfunctions in the past week. That's huh. not good. Sorry, huh. understatement. Yeah. And now I have more repairs. Is this a coincidence? Did you talk to security about this? How can I? For all I know, someone in security is the one doing this. Hmm. I've scanned all the potential sabotage areas I can think of. But I don't know who to trust anymore. Sounds like a lot went down before the Hyperion docked. Yeah, I guess. Wait. That's it. You can't possibly be involved in this. You weren't even here during the mutiny. Would you, if, if you have time? Maybe you could help me. If they start hitting critical systems. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm the Pathfinder. I feel like this is my duty. Sure duty. thing. What can I do? If you could scan these other panels while I fix this one, that'd really help. Sure. I've sent the locations to your Omnitool. Just send me the data when you're done. Alright, sounds, like, sounds like a plan. Sam, maybe I'll find Cora. Find out why. Be careful. Ah, investigate. Can I... Priority Ops, a better beginning. Additional tasks. These goals may not be such an issue to survival, but every little bit helps. Completed missions, allies, and relationships. Find leads on the Solarian Arc, the Asari Arc, and the Torian Arc. Better beginning. Speak with Sam. Helios assignments. Missions acquired. Station sabotage. Technician Raj Patil believes that someone is sabotaging Nexus systems. And he's asked for your help investigating possible sabotage sites. Um, speak with the prison guard. I want to track this one. Right. Yeah, cool. Now this is gonna make things a lot easier for me. Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel from another junction relay. You can scan and trace the connective wiring to locate the surrogate panel. This junction explosion was a result of the system attempted to compensate for a large energy surge. If you trace the surge back to its inception, we can... We can what? Alright, trace that. There. Alright, moving on. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. 
Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. This relay is set up to build a small amount of access to charge every time it distributes power to other systems. If undiscovered, eventually this would have caused an overload and violent discharge. Only someone with physical access to the console could have set this up. Hmm. Let's keep looking. This is an interesting mystery to solve. Try this one over here. What's this over here? Scan and trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. This system has been tampered with to randomly discharge a pulse that wipes system memory. The sabotage is performed remotely. If you can trace back to the source, you may be able to discern who had access to the site. Here. Sergeant Akir. Help you? Pathfinder Rider, here to see Nilk and Rensis. Ah, our murderer. Wife's here all the time. Guess she told you her sob story. Nilk, you're moving up in the world. There's a Pathfinder wanting to chat with you. She wanted me to help Pathfinder, him. huh? They called in the big guns to exile Andromeda's first murderer. Your wife's all broken up over this. She says you didn't do it, and that she loves you. She's a wonderful person. At this point, it's too late. They found me guilty. Well, tell, me what, tell me what happened. Yes, I was thank part you. of the futile effort to set up a colony on Eos. We were on our last legs, overrun by hostiles, our leader dead. The security chief, Reynolds, my friend, he refused to call for evacuation. I argued with him. Everyone saw. Ooh. Last I checked, getting into a spat wasn't against the law. There's more. He ordered us to regroup and counterattack. We were moving through a sandstorm. I saw movement, thought it was the Ket, and I, I guess I panicked and fired. Mm. Witness saw the chief's chest explode. So it was unintentional. Sounds like an accident. That's what I told them. But I was enraged when we argued. There's a recording. It's, it's ugly. Mm. Everyone's certain I did it on purpose so we could evacuate. Only my word otherwise. The Devonets will decide. I'll be, I'm gonna be logical. I'll check out the evidence. Maybe something doesn't add up. It would be nice to have someone with an open mind looking at it. You're a Pathfinder. I'm sure Kandros would give you access. Maybe there's still hope. up over there. Over here? What's over here? Oh, there's a room here that... Huh. Don't mind me, Kesh. been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. One more, I think. Engineering reports. Hyperion power draw is now at 100 percent This is really fun. I'm enjoying these missions a lot. These aren't just your typical fetch quests. Like this 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 has like a mystery involved with it. Pathfinder, I received the data from Sam. 
It really is sabotage. Hmm. Any idea as to who it might be? Yeah. All these panels were worked on by Zara. I just can't believe it. Security video logs confirm that Zara Kellis worked on these panels, as well as the one Raj Patil encountered. It lines up. Well, shit. Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion main deck. Got it. We'll catch up with her. Liam, have you seen Cora? I'm looking for Cora. I don't know where she went. It's that scourge I'm wondering about. Standard calling radiation shield should handle it, but I hate should. All right, I'm trying to juggle two mysteries, two mysteries at the same time. While I'm down here, I should probably talk to Kandros about the about the case. No news on the Turian Ark yet, or is this militia business? Murder case. I spoke with Nilkan Rensis, the man found guilty of the murder on Eos. Yes, our first murder here in Andromeda. I wish it had been our last. When the colony attempts failed, it didn't help spirits that a high-ranking officer was killed by one of our own. The mutiny here on Nexus was probably inevitable, but this acted as a spark. So there was a trial, and he was found guilty? It was short and decisive. Despite the lack of physical evidence, everything added up. His only defense was, trust me, I didn't mean to do it. And you assume he's lying? What's a lie to a murderer? Look, knock yourself out. A key witness, Cassidy Shaw, works in operations. Go ahead and talk to her. And there's a recording of the perpetrator threatening the victim. I'll let you queue it up on the console there. Might as far as, well as I'm concerned, it. this case is closed. All right, might as well listen Bye, to Bye, Kandros. It. Duty calls. You and me both, Pathfinder. Operations, eh? Optional, play recording. Here's the recording. The Nexus versus Colonist Milken, Evidence 7A. Hiram! Hiram! They've seized the compound! Call for evacuation! We're not giving up, Milken. We're taking it back! No! I'm not letting your ego get us killed! Even if I have to... No! Get him off me! Get him off me! That does sound very incriminating. Speak with Witness Shaw. We'll get to the bottom of this. We need to find out the truth. Because he could be lying. Honestly, you want to believe that he's innocent, but he could be lying. She's from the operations, right? Shaw. In operations. This is operations, right? This way? Oh, operations in here. Operations up here. Okay. Witness Shaw. Shaw's over here. Cassidy Shaw. We need to talk, Cassidy. Cassidy Shaw? I'm Ryder. I'm looking into the Nilkin murder case. Oh man, I thought that was over with. Have you heard the audio recording of their fight? Yes. I helped pull him off Chief Reynolds. You could see it in his eyes. He was gonna kill him. Then in the sandstorm, I had a pretty clear view of the Chief. He looked right at Nilkin and shouted, No. Then his chest burst open. I'll never forget it. The look on his face was pure shock. 